wouldn't it be cool if you, after the signing process, you can actually redirect to your own home page or a thank you page for the signing. So the user is redirected to a certain page. Now you can control that because on the sign request template, there is an extra field that actually controls the uh, redirect URL. This sign request redirect URL, you can only set uh, via the API directly. So in this case, we can, for instance, set it via the uh, wonderful Salesforce inspector tool. So I can set it right here, um, the redirect, okay, redirect URL. We can edit it right here. Let's put a slash behind it. It does the same and then it's saved. So now every time you generate an, uh, um, uh, a sign request, it will actually redirect it to this URL after the signing. So we can demonstrate that. I'm gonna go to, let's go to a sign request. Um, I'm gonna go to a record first. There's an opportunity here. From this opportunity, I'm gonna launch a sign request force to sign and then launch the sign request from here. Okay, that should be signed, uh, uh, sent out for signing. So I will receive an email. Yeah, the email is already here on my uh, my phone. We, I'm just gonna sign it directly from the sign request. So uh, imagine I'm sitting next to my signer. Okay, I'm signing it from here. So just say, sign the document. Okay, I'm gonna skip the file upload for now and gonna sign the documents. The documents is uh, signed and now I will be uh, redirected after uh, five seconds. And as you can see, I'm redirected to the PDF Butter website. Now that's excellent, that's great, but in some cases you actually want more. So if you say, okay, my uh, the website I need to forward to, it's actually not a static website. We want to have it dynamic or we want to have some parameters in there that uh, uh, go to the opportunity ID, stuff like that. And that's perfectly possible, but then you would have to set the, uh, um, the sign uh, redirect URL directly on the sign request. So as you can see here, there is also a redirect URL field on the sign request directly, on the sign request object directly, not the sign request template. And this we want to set to a certain value dynamically. You can control that, but you can only control that via a trigger at this moment. So you have to create a before insert trigger. So it's on the sign request object a before insert trigger. And in this trigger, uh, bulk fight, of course, as always, we actually going to set the uh, the field, the uh, signing request URL directly. So it's gonna be updated before the sign request is actually inserted into the uh, Salesforce database. So uh, for now, I set it to this URL. So it's a Google URL. So let's see if this works. Uh, the trigger is already there. I'm just gonna activate the trigger here now. Okay, save this trigger. And I'm gonna uh, relaunch my process um, to actually launch the sign request. So a new sign request and everything works out fine. Then actually this new sign request should forward to uh, the Google search page where I search for uh, PDF Butler, as you can see right here. Okay, let's take a look how that uh, will work. Okay, my sign request is there normally. We'll refresh it. Okay, this is the one that I just created. And now I'm gonna go to the sign request. I'm gonna sign it directly from this page. Okay, so I have to scroll to the end of the document, of course, sign it. Uh, skip the uh, documents for now because it's all optional documents and I'm just gonna go for the signing. And now after the signing is done, uh, which only takes a second, you will be redirected to actually the uh, Google search page. page. Voila, so my search is directly here. So that's exactly the uh, the trigger uh, your, uh, redirect URL that kicked in 
and that's helping me. So if you want to do this uh, with uh, a trigger and you want to put extra parameters in there, your own URL, that's all up to you now. But make sure that it's before insert trigger on the sign request object. If uh, a static um, URL is good enough, then it's just as easy as making sure the end signing redirect URL fields on the sign request template is filled and then this one will be taken. Okay, that's it.